Hey folks, welcome back. Holy Joe Rock and Roll for New Old House. And we're going to be installing a handrail for the stairs in this episode. And we're starting from pretty much from scratch. Here's a, a selection of handrails and railing type stuff in your local supply store. Uh, since my steps are made from beach, I'm going to go with the beach handrail. It looks like this. This is unfinished wood. I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to install it. And you know, to install it, of course, you're going to need some hardware mounting brackets. I decided to go with these types of brackets and don't don't go cheap you know these guys at the store said I could probably do a 270 centimeter run with just four attachments but you know when I laid it out I really need a fifth one so that's why I'm back here don't go cheap this handrail is going to be in this house probably for 20 30 maybe 50 100 years at least until the Russians try to invade but you know by the time they get to my house <laughs> it's all over for them but that's another story um, yeah, so just, you know, invest in good quality materials because a handrail is going to get a lot of use and it's going to last a long time. You want it to last a long time. So we're going to go with this. So here I am in my workshop. I stained this railing like you saw in the store. Stained it. Use this stain which matches the steps and I also use this sealant after the stain dried so it's looking real nice real nice I think nice railing now as I mentioned before the supports you really gotta think about the supports I put in initially I'm thinking about I was thinking about four supports where you see the blue blue tape but that's only four, and this is 270 centimeters, which is pretty long. I think really I should put in five. It's going to be on the wall for a long time. So let's add a fifth one. And the way to do it, just take 270 and actually divide it by six. There's the math. 270 divided by six is 45. So 45 would be equal distance, right? If you have five posts, you want them to be equal distance on a length of 270. But 45 from the end, it seems a little bit too far. So just eyeballing it, 30 centimeters seems a lot better, a lot more comfortable. 30 centimeters is about one foot for the Americans out there. So if I go 30 centimeters plus 45 centimeters, that's 75. And if I do that on both ends, that means I'll use up four posts. And that's 75. 75 plus 2, 70, sorry, 2 times 75 is 150. And 270, which is the total length, minus 150, gives me 120. Half of 120 is where I'll put the fifth and final one. So that's 60 away from the 45. So I'm going to go out 30, 45, 60, 60, 45, and 30. And that's my five post. I think that's going to be a lot more comfortable and it should be a lot more sturdy for this installation because it's 270, 270 centimeters is pretty long and this is a heavy piece of beech wood it's pretty it's pretty heavy now when I went to the store you know the guy recommended some little thing little thing and I'm like come on that's not gonna be strong enough I'm going into solid concrete so I went with a little bit bigger screw this is a uh, 5 by 45 screw and the the sleeves here, the support sleeves, they are 8 by 40 So that's just what I'm using. I think it's going to be good enough. If you're in the U.S. and you've got um, wood frame houses, you probably have the studs. So you would want to install yours in the studs, which are generally speaking 16 inches apart. So you got to do the math on that and recalculate your situation. You might, might be different. Uh, but here uh, in Poland, I've got solid concrete walls, brick walls. So... I can drill anywhere I want, so it's an advantage and uh, it's a curse at the same time. So let's get to it. So let's look at how I'm marking these. I know that the width of this thing is about six centimeters, so I'm gonna put a little mark at three centimeters, 
another mark at three centimeters and then I'm going to connect them by a straight line through the middle of the mark as best I can and that's the line where this will have to fit and as long as this is the line is through the middle I can mark that and I know that's where I have to drill and now I got two pretty clear marks where the drill holes are going to go for mounting this Hey, so you've got your railing ready to put it in position. <laughs> Not like that, I'm just resting it. One technique that I think is going to be helpful is drill a single hole where you believe the railing should go. One of the, one of the ends. A single hole, this requires two people. Then you can attach the railing at that single point, make the adjustments, the final adjustments, and then make your marks, your final marks. As to where it's going to be. You can see where I had some estimated black marks, but the red marks are the actual holes. So now that I have my exact locations of where the support beams are going to be attached to the wall, I can go ahead and start drilling and be confident that everything's going to line up. Keep in mind you may need an extension for your drill when you're getting the top. top mounted, which is very close to the wood frame. Just a little tip from Holy Joe Rock and Roll and New Old House. And there you have it, installed hand railing. With a little bit of preparation and the right tools, you too can install your very own hardwood hand railing to match your steps. And you know, not only does it add to the safety for people coming up and down the stairs? But of course, it also adds a certain aesthetics to the look. The brushed metal hole of attachments and the beech wood that matches the stairs. So I'm really happy with this installation and I hope you learned something. Till next time, it's Holy Joe Rock and Roll for New Old House. Take care.